Then we move to questions to members. Question number one, Mahesh Bindra. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the member in charge of the New Zealand International Convention Centre Act 2013 repeal bill. What is the intention of the New Zealand International Convention Centre Act 2013 repeal bill? Mr. Speaker. Tracy Martin. The intention of the New Zealand International Convention Centre Act 2013 repeal bill is self-evident. It is to repeal this controversial 2013 slap on the back deal that exchanged... Order. 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 I have a point of order from the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, um, I assume that you heard that the member's response was uh, the point of the Act is uh, that it's self-evident. She I need not say any more. I, I certainly heard the answer. I order, order, no. I'll listen to. Is it a fresh point of order? Yeah, the member's yeah, right? I'll order. listen to the right honourable. I mean, my my fresh point of order is that, is that the member who just got to his feet and raised a point of order with you, is being childish and pedantic. It was self-evident to a person like him. That's what we're saying. Order, no. <laughs> listen, I, I think Mr. Brownlee raises a reasonable point. I was then interested in the further answer, and I think. Uh, on this occasion, I'm quite happy to allow the member to repeat her answer for the benefit of the House. Kia ora, Mr Speaker. The intention of the New Zealand International Convention Centre Act 2013 is to repeal this controversial 2013 slap-on-the-back deal... Order, exchange... order, order, no. I've now heard enough of the answer. Supplementary, Mahesh Bendra. Uh, how will the New Zealand International Convention Centre Act 2013 repeal bill benefit New Zealanders? Mr. Speaker. Marginal, but I'll allow it. Tracy Martin. When the order. I have a further point of order for the Honourable Chair. Speaker, uh, questions to members and standing orders are very, very tight, and that is a speculative question that does not meet the test in any way, shape, or form. I, I think. I think the. The member's probably right on this occasion, but I'm going to be lenient. The point of the supplementary question must be something to which the member... Order! I'm on my feet. To which the member must be responsible. I'm adopting a very lenient interpretation of that and that the members put a bill forward, um, probably with a great deal of enthusiasm for the particular legislation. I'll allow her briefly to explain what she sees to be the benefits of the bill if it was to be successful. Kia ora, Mr Speaker. But briefly. When the New Zealand International Convention Centre Act 2013 repeal bill passes into law, it will enhance New Zealand's international reputation as a country where business can be conducted above the table and in public view. It will also remove the very real possibility of a gambling monopoly in the heart of Auckland and put negotiations order, order, the order, Convention no, Centre... Order. The answer must also be brief. I warn the member before... She... Well, point of order. Point of order, the Honourable Jerry Browning. Mr Speaker, uh, yeah, I'm not sure it's a good thing to allow leniency uh, when a member goes to make those sort of allegations. If I was to start talking about people receiving large bundles of cash and brown paper bags at fish restaurants, I'd get in some trouble. I don't Speaker. think that... Order. Speaker. Order. I'll Speaker. hear... I'll hear, I'll hear from Speaker, the right honourable Mr. Peters. I paid very careful attention to Jerry Brownlee's protest there, because we'll all remember that he was a director of a Christchurch casino order. for five weeks order. before he got outed. Order, and that, that is certainly not a point of order, and the one before was March as well. Order. You can see the difficulty with me attempting to be generous to members. I call on question number two to members, Clayton Mitchell.